It's mailbag time here on the Chiefs Report. I'm your host, Harrison Graham. Submit your questions by using that hashtag Chiefs, or you can super chat, and I'll answer as many of them as I possibly can. Tatum Williams maybe tried to trade for Cameron Jordan because he's up in age, age or maybe Marcus Davenport. Look, I'd be open to either. Uh, any edge rusher can, that can help, I'm open for because, look, I'm not joking when I say you've got maybe three somewhat reliable guys at edge right now. If you don't include Chris Jones, he might play some edge. Frank Clark, who has been pretty underwhelming, but he's still decent. George Karloftis, who, by the way, has proven nothing in the NFL. You're banking on him being good. Michael Dano's been a good rotation player through two years. That's it. I mean, Joshua Kando has proven nothing in this league. I don't know, man. I, you know, I think you need a lot more at that position. Jay asks, I really think we need more run-stopping help than pass rush. How about just defensive linemen? I mean, I think your defensive tackle rotation is decent, but... You know, you could add more there, too. The front four is not great on the defensive side of the ball. Dan Bowe is Jarrett McKinnon still on the team. Free agent. Um, maybe he returns. I like what he brought to this team last year. Little surprised him and Daryl Williams at this point in time. Haven't signed. I know Daryl Williams visited the Saints this past weekend. Maybe he ends up signing there. But a uh, bit surprised on uh, how those two guys' free agency periods have gone. Braden Perez, do you think the Chiefs will fill the need uh, to feed the ball to Marquez Valdez-Scantling because of his big contract? I mean, hopefully not. You should not force feed the ball based on someone's contract. And he's not really that guy. Like, he's not a high targets guy. I think he's a guy you take some deep shots with, get some underneath completions, but I don't think he's ever going to be a 10, 12, 15 target per game guy. You know, he's going to have his six to eight targets, uh, you know, four to five catches and uh, go from there. Maverick, hashtag Chief. Should the Chiefs sign Akeem Hicks? Um, I'd be open to it. He's got some positional flexibility. He can play inside. He can play out. He's played mostly in a 3-4 in his career, but I think he could play 4-3 defensive end or defensive tackle for this team. Uh, I like Hicks. Uh, he's going to be 33, though. He's got some injuries uh, piling up, but when he's healthy, he's still a good player, so definitely open to this idea. What do you guys think? Should the Chiefs go out and sign Akeem Hicks, type Y for yes, type N for no. Here's to see where the kingdom lands on this one. Chiefs fan 213, top five Super Bowl contenders. All right. I'm not going to, this is in no order. Bills, Chiefs, Bucks, Rams. Those are probably my top four in no order. Who would be my fifth one? If I knew, if I had more clarity on Deshaun Watson's situation, like, if Watson's not suspended and there aren't major distractions from his situation, they might be my fifth. Um, I just, you know, you think of the NFC Packers, I think they've gotten worse. Niners, that's uncertain with Trey Lance. Da I don't trust Dallas. Does Baltimore bounce back? Maybe. Uh, Cincinnati, you know, they're, they got, uh, their offensive line improved. Uh, I think we might be sleeping on them again. So I think the top four are what I said in no order. Chiefs, Bills, uh, Rams, and Bucks. And then, you know, some of those other teams I mentioned would be, you know, probably that fifth team. Uh, Deberson, why does everyone else in the division suck so bad? Well, the Chiefs have just dominated this division. But again, guys, this division's going to be good, man. Like... If you just think the Chiefs can show up and win it this year, I got news for you. That ain't happening. Like, it's they're going to have to bring it every single week, especially in these divisional matchups. So it's going to be fun to see how it plays out. KL368, not a question, but please, no more Chris Jones at edge. I'm with you. That's another reason why I want them to sign edge guys. I don't think he's that good at, as an edge rusher in a 4-3. 3-4, different story. 4-3, not an edge guy. Like... I think we saw that last year. I think he had one good game at edge uh, week one against the Browns, and that was kind of it. He's an interior pass rusher. Like, I, I don't – if the Chiefs' plan is, oh, well, we'll just put Chris Jones at edge, I don't think that's a good plan. Like, some passing down situations at edge, sure, but, like, I don't think he should play more than 20% of his snaps at edge. I would prefer less than that if I'm being honest. 
Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button here on the Chiefs Report and turn on those notifications to all because uh, that is the way to stay informed on everything around the Kansas City Chiefs. When we publish a video, you'll get notified if those noties are selected to all. So subscribe, hit that bell, select all, uh, and then you'll be in good shape because we publish videos every single day. HD Chiefs fan, are you ever alive at any games? We don't go to games. Uh, who knows in the future? You never know. Um, but uh, we do live watch parties here in the studio where we got a live scoreboard. I provide play-by-play. -play. We'll definitely do some of those again this year for uh, a select number of the games. So, uh, yeah, so stay tuned, subscribe, and uh, when there's big announcements and uh, new developments here at the channel, we got you covered with those updates as well. Chiefs fan, 213, how many more free agent signings do you think the Chiefs will do? Could see a couple more. I don't think I'll, you know – five, six, seven type of signings are going to happen. But I'll continue to say it. You need defensive end help. You need edge rushers. You need a lot to improve this defensive line. I think the rest of your roster is in pretty good shape. Uh, maybe add another running back, let bring back a Jarrett McKinnon or something like that. But uh, I do think uh, a couple more signings on that defensive line could be in order. Be sure to follow us on Rumble as well. If you want free and uncensored content here from the Chiefs Report and from other creators around, in, around the sports world, news, politics, tech, and business, and other ventures as well. There's a lot of crypto action that you can check out as well. Rumble.com slash Chiefs TV. You can also keep listening to our videos or any other videos on Rumble when you have the app, uh, to, even when you have other apps open. You get get a text notification, you click on it, uh, video's not going to pause. It'll keep playing for you. Plus some occasional exclusive Chiefs content. Rumble.com slash Chiefs TV. Give us a follow. Go check us out over on Rumble. KL368, what do you think of the possibility of rotating Carl Loftus inside? I like that possibility. Again, the problem is, as we show you the depth chart, when he's kicking inside, who are your edge rushers? Frank Clark and Michael Dana? Okay, great. What if one of these guys gets hurt? You are so thin at edge right now. I, I just, I, I don't understand this, you know, uh, depth chart at this position now. Again, it's middle, late May, but guys are going off the board. Melvin Ingram, he's not available. Genevieve Clowney, he's gone. Like, it's not like you just have a surplus of options remaining. So I like kicking Carl off this inside, the idea of that. But again, you need edge rushers. Like, who, who's playing there? Who's taking those snaps? So unless there's some, you know, new development that Michael Dana can be an every-down player and give you 10 sacks, it's something I'm unaware of, then I just don't see, you know, how often Carl off this can kick inside with what you currently have. Marlo 3X, Milo 3X, what is your take on Daryl Williams? Like the player, I thought he grew last year as a pass catcher, had over 1,000 total yards. I thought that was damn impressive. I like Darrell Williams. I think he did some good things <coughs> Excuse me, for this Chiefs offense. I would have been open to bringing him back, but doesn't sound like that's going to be the case. All right, Chiefs Kingdom, show your age a little bit without telling me your age. Who was the quarterback when you became a Chiefs fan? And if the answer is Mahomes, that's okay. It's all good. I want to know, though. Who was the Chiefs quarterback when you became a fan? You know, uh, maybe it was Trent Green. Maybe it was <laughs> Matt Castle. Maybe it was uh, Nick Foles that one season. Alex Smith, Mahomes. Maybe it was someone back in the 70s or 80s. I want to know, who was the Chiefs quarterback when you became a fan? HD Chiefs fan, is Chanel someone that can be used to edge? Maybe some. I mean, he's a decent, he's a good blitzer, but... Again, like, is that a plan? Like, oh, we draft this linebacker. We're, we're thin at edge. We'll just make him an edge rusher. Like, some, sure. A lot, eh. Ah, I, I don't think that's a great plan. Chiefs fan, one, two, one, three. How many picks do we have next year, and what are they? Uh, I'd have to pull it up, but I think they have picks in most rounds. Uh, I, they do have their first round pick. I know that. So, uh, should have a good number of picks again. Cole Keller, have you done watch parties for a full season of Chiefs games? Also, will you do watch parties for the preseason? Maybe one or two preseason games. We'll see. Uh, full season last year for 17 games. I think we did like 12 of them. We did a bunch. So uh, all depends on the schedule. We got a lot of duties here at Chat Sports. A lot of channels trying to go live. So we'll see how many we work in. Uh, I promise you we'll do some. Uh, I don't want to make a blank check type of promise that we'll do all 17 because we got a lot of stuff going on. But uh, 
Cole, we definitely will do quite a few Chiefs watch parties. Hashtag Chiefs or Super Chat to get your questions on the show as we can get to one or two more. Jay says, how bad does the defense need to be for Spags to be out? Uh, I mean, if it's similar to last year, I, I could see him getting axed. Uh, you know, I thought the middle of the season last year, the defense rallied, and I think that was good enough uh, to give him another year because I think he has done a lot of good things. But uh, it's got to improve this year. I, I don't think they're helping him a ton by not giving him edge help, but I do think the linebacker and sa uh, secondary units are pretty good. Uh, so the back seven should be in pretty good shape, but I have question marks about the front four. All right, appreciate you guys for submitting all of your questions. Be sure to follow me on social media if you didn't get your question answered at HGramNFL on Instagram, at HGramNFL on Twitter. You can slide in the DMs after you follow me. DMs always open, always down to chop up some Chiefs football. So greatly appreciate that if you didn't get your question answered on the show.